Hi everybody, I'm Susanna Bonneus from European Treasury Peer Group, the ETPG. We have just finalized a three-day uh, peer group meetings here in London. And we have welcomed, again, many new members from uh, different geographies and different industries. And our roundtable discussions uh, has a unique format which enable complete openness, which is highly appreciated. Um, in order to kind of summarize what we have been discussing uh, those days, I would like to ask you, Magnus, what are the concerns of the treasurers? Hi, today uh, the concerns are, uh, there are many concerns. Uh, we are in the midst of the euro crisis. Uh, in a couple of weeks there will be uh, the second election uh, in Greece. We have been discussing counterparty risk a lot. It is um, mainly, or to a large extent, the banks. Uh, can we depot in the banks? How dangerous is that? Where do we, do, where do we handle? What do we do with our cash? And how can we rely on long-term banking funding? So those have been one one of the discussions we had. We've had. We have, of course, also discussed regulation. That is some of our favorite. Uh, uh, <laughs> subject on this blog. Uh, we've had the opportunity to discuss uh, with Charles Bean and um, uh, his colleague Nicole from Bank of England uh, on uh, the regulation and what actually we are fairly uh, in agreement uh, on the problems with the regulation basically making sovereigns risk-free and corporates uh, discrimination. Uh, we uh, pointed that out and I get the impression that the governments and regulators start to realize that problem. Uh, the other thing was we discussed the euro crisis. What happens? What are the scenarios? Uh, what are the contingency planning? And we shared a lot of ideas on, on, on that kind of, of topics also. Uh, we discussed funding, different funding sources. For instance, uh, can we have commercial paper programs if the backup facilities uh, is too expensive? Uh, how do we do with revol revolving credit facilities? Um, Another topic that was close to the heart of, of the peers was supply chain finance. That is becoming much more um, uh, important. And uh, we discussed different kind of platforms, uh, different kind of setups, experiences also. Uh, another issue that was fairly new that was uh, key performance index, uh, key performance indicators, but also WAC, weighted average cost of capital or internal rate of return. How to set that on a 10 year investment? I mean, how can you do that now? There are no so called risk free rates, and how do we do it? And how do we communicate? And who is responsible? Very interesting discussion. Uh, the discussion I honestly uh, enjoyed the most since uh, uh, I like um, uh, blue ocean strategies is how do we support and how do we work with the ecosystem to increase top and bottom line but also to uh, take away weaknesses in the supply chain. But I will not explain to you or present to you how uh, our conclusion in that area was if you want to know, you need to uh, join the peer group and you need to join the meetings and you're very welcome to come to back to Susanna or me uh, to see how you uh, uh, can benefit from a membership. Thank you Susanna. Thank you Magnus and uh, to all of you, please stay tuned and uh, listen to some of the participants. Uh, I have Francois Masquerie here. I was uh, fairly uh, known, must be known for all treasurers, I think, for the work you have done for the treasury community over the years. Uh, we have today had Bank of England, Charles Bean, we have had a radical rethinker from Cantox and corporate funding associations, we have had Deutsche Bank here to tell us about regulation. So, what did this day give to you, Francois? I think it was quite an interesting day. Uh, I knew some of the presentation and some of the topic addressed, but I, I found the uh, presentation on the regulation quite interesting, especially coming from a bank. And I was pleased to have uh, John. I, I knew him for, for a while, but to, to be really transparent, very honest and fair, explaining the uh, regulations, the impact not only for corporates but also for banks, I think it was really interesting to have this kind of uh, comprehensive uh, overview of the. Uh, of the regulation because I keep thinking that uh, many treasurers are still uh, uh, not fully aware of the impact, potential impacts of regulation for, for them, especially the example of the OTC derivatives or Basel 3 and some others.
Very so interesting day. What, what was your uh, input? What did that give you to listen to Charles B? Uh, was that, uh, he's very open, he's very frank, and he is the guy who's really interested in, in our opinion, and our situation, you can say. I must say that uh, I was also surprised, and the guy was quite, uh, quite fair too, very open. Maybe the, the fact that we were a smaller uh, audience was uh, uh, easier. For it was easier for him to, to talk freely and to answer all the questions. He was not trying to hide things. Uh, I remember a couple of years ago, I was uh, listening to a very nice speech from Jean-Claude Trichet from the ECB. It was very interesting. It's a smart guy. It was a very interesting speech. But a bit, uh, uh, you know, uh, too too obvious, too too known, and uh, it was difficult to get really uh, inside information to have some interesting views. So, uh, due to the to his uh, function at the European level, it was difficult for him, I guess, to disclose uh, a thing and to make comments. I had the same discussion with the uh, governor of the Central Bank in Luxembourg, if Merge, well known too. Uh, usually with this kind of person they have a different approach, very uh, reluctant to understand and to, uh, to try to really uh, uh, assess and uh, yeah, understand or answer to the issues of the real economy and the corporate. So they have really a bank view and it's, it's very difficult. And I remember a discussion with Yves Merch about the, um, the uh, what is the narrative? He has completely different views uh, as, as we do as, uh, as corporate. So I think that uh, this morning it was quite interesting, very open, and a very uh, uh, smart guy who tried to understand what we, representing a, a big portion of the, uh, uh, let's say the economy, what we call the real economy, uh, uh, wanted to say to express. So a very interesting uh, dialogue and, and more open than what usually we have with this kind of uh, uh, senior person. Thank you, Francois. And now we are on our way to the U.S. and Washington to meet uh, the peer of uh, Charles Pien, Mr. Mrs. Janet Yellen. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I cannot promise. Hello, Philip. Philip Gale, CEO and founder of the explosive uh, new machine for FX hedging Canton. So, what is your take? What, what did you get out of this day? It was really a great opportunity for us to be able to speak with a lot of corporate treasurers. Usually we have to speak to them one by one, and here you have a big audience. A lot of people really open-minded, meaning people looking for innovative solutions, alternative, people who are really trying to see how the market will work in five years. And that's really what we are trying to change. For us it's a fantastic audience, because we are speaking to people no, we really understand what we are doing and why we are doing this. Why <laughs> is your peer hedging? What is so bad for the bank to the corporate hedging? Look, we noted that when you hedge with bank, it's expensive. Then we call a lot of collateral. And nowadays, banks are quite risky. And in counterparty risk with banks, is really high. Much higher than with large corporates. The internet makes it possible for a corporate to find another corporate and to hedge between themselves. It's very cheap, there is no collateral, the counterparty risk is lower. Find it, it's a fantastic solution made possible by the internet. Thus we thought it's a future product, a product will, will, will change the market. What we saw when, when we met, uh, Susanna and I met you first time, we, we actually came together with the Corporate Funding Association. We thought this is a radical rethink. You never know what would happen, yes. but you did something. You, you put something good, out good there good and have solutions to see if it yeah. fits. The same with Corporate Funding Association. This is so strong. But you, together with Philip Rocca, are the start of our radical rethink. Thank you very much for that, Philip. Thank Thanks, Magnus. Bye-bye. Thanks.